What's up, YouTube? We're over here at Spring Creek Park, Harris County. It's uh, in Tomball, Texas. It's just north of Houston, about 35 miles, 40 miles, somewhere in there. Give or take about 30 minutes. Uh, you can stay seven days for free. You have to fill out a form ahead of time online, and uh, then you have to leave for 30 days, and then you can come back. But we'll take you around, show you the amenities and uh, trails and stuff. Okay guys, this is the entrance to the park, or one of them, there's two. This area over here is uh, for tents. Tent camping area. They all come with picnic tables and a little charcoal grill, which is really nice. And over here on the other side of the road, for your RV. Looks like over here across the way you have some bathroom facilities. Nice concrete pads. Septic and power. I'm gonna imagine with the Class A's you got 50 amp service. And over there, off in the distance, that would be your other entrance to the park. It's a nice little area over here. I'd pick this one probably over here on the end with the picnic table and the trees. But it looks like you have... Uh, Looks like you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots. It's Brandy over there taking pictures. Go in over here and check out the bathroom facilities real quick. did have a shower, but somebody was in there. have a water fountain fire pit tent camping number three with power a couple concrete picking table barbecue pit trash can Pretty nice amenities for being free.
That over there is a park, covered pavilion. Way back up the hill over here is tennis courts. Take you up there and see what that's all about. Hey guys, we're up the hill here next to the pavilion. And uh, tennis courts are over there. playground area I'm not sure what the rules are with the pavilion and the barbecue pit it looks like a uh, you need to call and get permission ahead of time for this because they got it locked up. Might be for bigger events. But if you wanted to get out of the camper, it's raining or something, you at least you'd have some place out here to go. Got some bathroom facilities up here. Facilities are real clean. Even smelled good in there. Maybe these are some showers or maybe just extra. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this might be a little package deal you or if you have a large group, they'll let you come on over. Get permission first. That's a barbecue pit. <laughs> Smells great. Just so you know, I wish wish you could smell this. The counterweight makes it nice and easy to open. And uh, this one's not locked up. So I'd have to imagine anybody could come use this one. I mean, I would check with the park rules first. really nice That's firebox. All right, we'll take you on a ride around the park and uh, there's a couple of trails. We'll check those out. That'd be the tennis courts over there.
That's where the tent camping was earlier that I was filming. And your RV spots. bathroom facility. Some basketball, another park for the kids. This part of the park closes at dark, it says. Get some dogs, it'd be a good place to run. Throw a frisbee or toss a football with the kids. Long boards, plenty of hills right here for that. sign over here. Spring Creek Park Cemetery, West Chapel Methodist Episcopal Cemetery. The cemetery appropriately named Spring Creek Cemetery since the majority of its northern and western boundaries follows the meanders of Spring Creek. Had its beginning February 23, 1884. On that date, Henry Skier sold 6.6 .6 acres of his farm homestead to the local West Chapel Methodist Episcopal Church of Spring Creek, an African-American organization. The deed noted that it was Skier's desire to promote public morality and religion, and it was common knowledge that the land was to be used to house a church building and cemetery. 
The erection of the church never came to pass, but a number of burials, just how many is not known, did take place over the years. The cemetery is located on a hill, high hill adjoining the northeast corner of the county's Spring Creek Park in far north Harris County. On July 6, 1969, Harris County and West Chapel Methodist Episcopal Church reached in an agreement for Harris County to acquire the property. Memories of the church, congregation, community, neighbors, and descendants have faded through the years. Few, if any, realize that this property was utilized as a cemetery for 85 years. Preservation of this site provides an opportunity to enlighten enlighten local cultural heritage with untold community stories. Hey guys, this is a, a trail back here in the back corner. I'm not sure if it's on the map of the park or not. I don't have a map, um, but growing up here, I know that it's here. How y'all doing? All right, how you doing? Great. All these concrete blocks are, and you can see the rebar, are remnants from a an old black powder mill that used to exist here during the Civil War. Hi, Brandy. guys we're gonna this is kind of this is still in the section that's closed after dark uh, right before you come to the hill 
right across from that big park where everybody's playing soccer. Says no swimming. Looks like some kids uh, don't listen. Probably like me. walking back here to the back there's supposedly a trail I've never been back here but uh that leads to the old black powder mill or what's left of it that uh used to be here during the civil war you like that camera good purchase You're not sneaking pictures of me when I'm not looking at you. No. <laughs> I'm not now, though. Now you planted the seed. Site of Confederate Powder Mill established in 1861. Cannon powder for the Confederate Army was made here until 1863 when the mill was destroyed by an explosion, killing William Blockner, Adolph Hillgeist, and Peter Wunderlich, employees of the mill. 
The site was donated by Mrs. Hildegeist and her son Earl and Roy Hildegeist. Erected by Harris County Historical Survey Committee, Spring Creek County Historical Association, the descendants of those killed in the explosion, erected in 1966.